If you do go on to enjoy today's video, do me a favor and hit that like button and of course subscribe. It really does help me out a lot. And if you want to avoid the random lottery that is FIFA points, you can go straight to the source with u7buy.com. And of course, you can use the code TVM at checkout to get yourself a discount. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to another video. Shapeshifters are out, at least said about that the better, but I have got one, it is a loan, although I am going to run it into the ground. It's the player that I actually wanted to use the most, and uh, thankfully EA gave me five games to try him out, and to, um, to then cry about not being able to buy him, because he's too expensive. He's literally around half a million right now, which is, for an 86 rate card, is crazy. 5 star weak foot, 4 star skills, high medium, 5 9. The reason he's so expensive is purely because you can play him anywhere on the field apart from goalkeeper. How awesome would that have been by the way? And I might make a dedicated video about this, but instead of shapeshifters, what they should have done was mirror image. And literally had goalkeepers as strikers and strikers as goalkeepers, left wings as left backs and so on and so forth. That would have been fun and would have shown a little bit of imagination. But we are... Here we have shapeshifters. This card looks incredible. Whether you want to use him as a striker, a cam, centre mid, CDM, right back, left back, centre back, it is completely up to you. I'm going to use him as the position. I say the position says he is. I know it's hard to read, but it does say he's a striker, right? So we just have to just have to take my word for it. It does say he's a striker. Uh, let me put a cam cell on him before we do anything. That's my team. Not the best. Um... I've got a shapeshifters run out of... Oh, no, I'm joking. It's the footmer. Sorry, I get, I get this confused because he's got, like, two different cuts. <clears throat> Let's apply the chemistyle. There we go, marksman. I've got, I'm running low on those. I've only got 21 left. I'm going to give him a marksman. I very rarely use the marksman chemistyle. The reason I want to do it, though, is obviously we need the boost to finish in. Makes sense. Takes him up to 99. Attack positioning goes to 99. Uh, shot power's up to 91. Long shot's 87, which is very good. He's unbelievably pacey anyway. He's got a five-star weak foot, which is really good. We can play um, onto whichever foot we want up front. I wanted to boost the dribbling slightly. So dribbling goes up to 98. Ball control's up to 93. The reaction's up to 92. And agility up to 94, which I think is going to be insanely good. I mean, this guy is going to feel super agile, unbelievably quick, and why not boost up the strength when we're at it? I couldn't care less about the jumping, because his heading is irrelevant and nobody crosses in this game. But strength up to 82 could be good, and of course the aggression goes up to 92 as well. That is going to be pretty damn good. Um, I mean... This is one of those cards that I could review seven times and give you seven different opinions per position. I'm not going to do that, A, because I can't, I've only got five games, but also uh, because that's pointless, right? I mean, it's up to you how you want to play it, but I can tell you that if you gave him a powerhouse chem style, he would be a 90-rated right wing-back. He'd be an 89-rated CDM. He'd be an 85-rated centre-back. If you gave him a Sentinel, for instance, turns into an 87-rated centre-back, he's still an 89-rated striker with a Sentinel. It is mad how well-rounded this card is. I would I would urge you to find a card better for... Well, how, what am I, yeah, better well-rounded, I guess. Just a card that you can quite literally use in any position. Like some of them, you look at them and you think, you could kind of use him as a striker if you gave him this and gave him this and whatever. But he could, honestly, without, without anything on him, if you put him as a right back, he wouldn't be that bad. If you put him as a centre back, his defensive stats are a bit lacking here or there, but generally wouldn't be terrible. And as a striker, yeah, he'd be great straight away. You, you just can't find a card like this. But with a marksman, I feel like we've got a 91 rated striker, 93 rated centre forward, or a 93 rated winger. That's the team I've got him in. He is going to play right side striker with Di Maria left side. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a weird one, actually. I'm going to have Kenny Lala as the cam, and I've put Cyprian as the right back. Probably going to sub Cyprian out for Quadrado, but still, um, yeah, without any further ado, let's get into the gameplay. My opponent's team, three icons, one of which is Roberto Baggio, by the way, that's a, a, a class inform. Inform Bruno Fernandes as well, inform, I mean icon. I don't know where Atal is going, but he's not going where I'm telling him to go, that's for damn sure. He's going to be offside there. Here's Atal winning the ball back, he does have defensive skills of course, he was... A right back once upon a time. Ball comes forward here to Kenny. La la, ball through to Tolisso. And Atal just does not want to move. He did not want to move forward then at all. Atal, I get it. <clears throat> ball forward here to Atal himself. He's going to do a little spin. Gets into a shooting position. It's blocked. But again, 
His skill moves are on point. He feels very agile. His dribbling is very good. Kira gets the ball there and just can't do anything with it after intercepting it, which is really irritating. Atal back, and he, he's got a mind of his own. He just drifts around, which is not a good thing, by the way, because he's actually on stay forward, uh, getting behind. But he drifts all... That's not a foul. He drifts all the way around the pitch. He'll come back into the midfield. He'll go forward by himself. He'll run offside quite a lot. Here's Taliso trying to pass that back through. I'm trying to move. He won't move. A little back heel to Sanchez. Uh, here's Kenny Lala. I need someone who can actually shoot, though. Here's Atal on the turn again. Another shot blocked. Lala drags it back. Renato Sanchez through the middle. Down for a penalty. We are going to get a chance to put the ball in with Atal, who has 79 penalties. I'm going to give it the left-sided treatment, and it's, uh, it's a goal. I mean, it's a penalty, so calm down. But he has scored on his debut. 1-2 with Angel Di Maria maybe that's good football from Di Maria but the pass was awful he naturally nearly got there because he's so quick he nearly got there but it was a terrible pass here he is inside to the oh well I mean I was kind of thrown through a loop then because I didn't expect the fake shot to be as good as it was he beat everyone with that fake shot took two defenders out fooled even me and then the shot was terrible I tell you what I reviewed up a Mencano's card his player moments card as a defender. I should have reviewed it as a CDM because he's actually playing well there. Ball comes back into Atal, gets into the penalty area, goes for goal. It's what a challenge that is. He's very good. Uh, he's very, very good. When he gets on the ball, he's very tricksy. Even I don't know what he's about to do. So far, though, every shot he's had from open play has been saved or blocked by the goalkeeper or a defender. La la. Atal on the shoulder. He's on side. This is his chance to score here. And he does. And the keeper didn't come out. I'm actually very surprised he didn't bring the goalkeeper out. Second goal of the game. First from open play. He's unbelievably quick. And he held that line really, really well. I was fully expecting him to jump the gun and go forward and be offside. But he's done well. And he's on the score sheet from open play. Werner. Can he play that ball through to Atal? He can. My opponent is understandably playing a dodgy line. He's been muscled off that. He's got 80-something strength at this point. And he just gets pushed off it. Here he is on the turn. And it's a goal. Well, I'm a little bit concerned about the strength. But he recovered well enough because he got the ball, turned his man and scored. That's a hat-trick on his debut. All be one of them via the penalty spot. But still, hat-trick on the debut. Can't argue with it. The strength in the beginning did concern me. That's a great little turn, though. And a really good goal into the bottom corner. Cyprian looking for Sanchez. Back into Cyprian, who's... Played through Atal and scores in the first two minutes of the game. I mean, he's all right, isn't he? He's, he is pretty good. I mean, he's he's really random with his positioning. And I, I've got a funny feeling it, it's a coding problem where EA do these position change things. Because it's not the first time I've noticed it with a player. I, you know, obviously, Atal is new to me. This isn't my second game. But um, I... Going through previous FIFAs when they've done these position change things, if you use him, and he's normally a defender, but you use him as, a, as an attacking mid or something, you'll find that he often wants to come back and help out or something of that nature. Ball through to Atal here. He's got the pace. He's got a little bit of strength to him. And he gets in, he shoots, and he scores. And I tell you what, he's an absolute menace. I need to stop saying I tell you what. But he is an absolute menace. He's got the pace. He's got a little bit of strength to him because he used to be a defender. His positioning is my only gripe with him. That's that's it. His finishing is really good as well. I mean, he's up against a good goalkeeper there. Here he is. I told him to pass an hour ago. He didn't listen. Di Maria plays it back through to him. He's in on goal. He shoots from distance and it's just wide. He's just a menace though. He, he just causes so many problems. Kenny Lala with the interception. Ball through to Alejandro Gomez. Ball played straight through to Di Maria. Chips it back into Alejandro. And it's 1-0. And Atal had nothing to do with it. And my opponent has left the game. And that is why five game loan on a player is very frustrating. Because that's the second one. The sticking point with this card is... And probably forever will be the price. I, I think it's a very good card, but is it worth four to five hundred thousand coins? That's, I mean, that's the ultimate question, and I suppose it it comes down to personal preference, really. It it is literally going to come down to whether you personally think 
it's worth the money or not because to a lot of people it won't be it's an 86 rated card it should be cheaper that's gonna be many people's mentality i understand where you're coming from but you can quite literally play this guy anywhere on the pitch so if you are playing him as a striker and he's not working for you you don't have to just take him off and replace him with your current striker you can move him back into the midfield or as a cam or as a winger or as a left back or right back you can do whatever you want with him and that is the beauty of it. I think as a fullback in particular, and it's really, it's funny that I say this. If you don't like him as a striker, you could put him back into the fullback position. It's ironic that they've shape-shifted him into a striker, but I'm still talking about playing him as a fullback. Reason for that, of course, is you now have a right back who is capable of scoring goals as well as your strikers do. So that's the, that's the plus side. But that's what I really like about the card. It's so well-rounded, no matter what position you play him in. It is unbelievably well-rounded. As a striker for me, though, he literally scored in, in nearly every single game that he played. There are two games where he didn't score. I say nearly every single. It's like I played more than five. But uh, one game I didn't get to play anything of because the guy quit on the squad screen, probably because he saw that I had a loan card in there. The other guy, uh, can, as soon as he conceded, he left. Atal wasn't involved in that move. And in the other three games, he scored at least one goal. I think it was like three goals in one, two in the other, one in the, in the final one. So... Yeah, he is he is pretty damn consistent. I'm a big fan of him. I think he's very, very good. Very pacey, unbelievably good on the ball. He doesn't feel as fast as maybe you'd think he would do with 97 acceleration. I think that might come down to the agility not being 99 naturally. But that don't let that put you off. Unbelievably good card. If these are available in draft, I would urge you to maybe try and get him in draft. Because spending between four and 500k on a card you may end up not liking is a bit harsh and of course you can't get a loan uh until well unless you manage to get him in that loan that they gave us if that makes sense so yeah it is going to be a bit of a risk for you to pick him up for that amount of coins but i will say that if you are going off this video he is a very very good card i don't think you'll be disappointed but he i don't know maybe he's not going to be as good as what you could get for half a million or there or thereabouts but then again He's only been out a few hours, so I'd imagine he'll dip down in price. Probably one of the best shapeshifters in, in batch one, to be fair. I'll be very interested to see who's in batch two. But um, yeah, I like that card a lot. I would I would recommend it. I would. It, it's, it's expensive, but I would recommend it. If you have a, a shapeshifter card you want me to review next, feel free to let me know in the comment section down below. If you have enjoyed the review, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.